With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello students. The question given here is identify the wrong statements. So four statements are given here and you have to identify the wrong statements. The first statement is there are three steps in Krebs cycle where NAD plus is reduced to NADH plus H plus. So we know that Krebs cycle which is also known as the citric acid cycle. This is a process where ATP is synthesized and cellular respiration takes place. So in the Krebs cycle there are various steps and there are three three steps where NAD plus, NAD plus is an energy carrier. This NAD plus is reduced to NAD H plus H plus. So this happens three times during Krebs cycle. So this is a true statement or a correct statement. The second option given is Krebs cycle. It starts with the condensation of acetyl group with fumaric acid to yield citric acid. Now the first step of Krebs cycle is your acetyl coa which is formed at the end of glycolysis this acetyl coa it is added to or it is mixed to oxaloacetate oxaloacetate and as a result as a product of this citric acid is formed so here fumaric acid is not added to acetyl coa and also this is not a condensation reaction because citric acid this is a six carbon compound whereas oxaloacetate this is a four compound four carbon compound so as there is increase in the carbon number so this is not a condensation reaction so this is a false statement the third statement is cytochrome C is a small mobile carrier protein which transfers proton between complex 3 and complex 4. So cytoplasm is a small heme protein and their function is the synthesis of ATP and they do not transfer protons, they take up electrons and by taking up electrons they help in the synthesis of ATP. ATP is known as the unit of energy. So again this becomes a false statement. Last statement given is in glycolysis glucose undergoes partial oxidation and at the end produces two molecules of pyruvic acid. So glycolysis is the first step of cellular respiration and here one glucose molecule it gives rise to two pyruvic acid and this is partial condensation, uh, partial oxidation of glucose because at the end of the complete oxidation which also includes the Krebs cycle and the oxidative phosphorylation, 38 ATP are generated while at the end of glycolysis only 4 ATP are generated. So this is a true statement. Here glucose undergoes partial reduction and produces two molecules of pyruvic acid. Thus, if we see here, option A and D, they are true and B and C, they are false and incorrect. So here, option B and C, this is the incorrect or right option. I hope this solves your doubt. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.